Lifestyle Topher. Welcome to the ZSK Research and Training Center. I'm here with Ollie, our JCK, K-Head Embroidery Machine. Uh, Ollie is used primarily to be able to create different moss and chenille embroidery structures. So what is moss or chenille embroidery? So moss and chenille embroidery essentially is an older technique of embroidery where we create a large loop of material or thread through a fabric surface. This loop can be changed to have different heights, so we can approximate different things like shaggy carpet, or it can have very, very low heights, so it looks more like velvet or moss. Also, this machine can do something called chain stitching, which allows us to actually take those loops, bend them over on the side, and create another loop inside, allowing little chains to be formed on the surface of the fabric. This has some really cool technical plays, which we'll get to in a minute. So what is the K-Head machine traditionally used for? K-Head is traditionally used for letterman's jackets or varsity jackets where we want those letters that kind of come out on the back nice and puffy to be able to be either put on as an applique or also heat pressed on. As well as it can be used for chain stitching, which is a very quick way to fill in designs into traditional mural embroidery. So what can we do with technical embroidery with this machine? Well, this machine opens up some really interesting structures and some really interesting research possibilities. For instance, because there's such a long volumetric or voluminous loop structure, if we substitute conductive threads out, we get volumetric conductivity, which is extremely conductive. Also, this allows us a high amount of softness, like a pillow against the skin. This allows for really great skin sensors. So we get different types of ways and different ways of interfacing with the skin to be able to get data out of that. So some of those data that we get out are EMG or electromyograms where we can read muscles and muscle contractions or ECG, electrocardiogram, where we can read different heart rate signals. And then finally, we can even do some inside the EEG or electroencephalogram space, which allows us to read brain waves, which is a lot of fun. So I'm here with Sandra. She's wearing one of our heart rate monitoring shirts made with K-head embroidery. So for this shirt, we have a very fine textile structure, very, very small, allowing for very good conductivity, as well as a very low pile height, so you don't feel it as much against you. It's very smooth. Additionally, we have a TENS device here, which is made very similar uh, technique, only we have a much higher pile structure. And this device can be used for electro-stimulation or electro-relaxation of muscles. Additionally, other types of sensors have been developed on this doing different skin resistance sensors, and also different types of humidity type sensors. Chain stitching can also be used in a technical application because the chains are single conductive threads that loop through the entire structure of the embroidery. That allows us to send a really easy signal through there with a very, very low resistance or high conductivity. Thank you for joining us on the explanation of the JCK or K-Head Embroidery Machine. If you have any other questions about chenille embroidery or technical applications of chenille or moss stitching or chain stitching, please reach out to me by my email and I'll try to get back to you soon. Additionally, if you look below, we have a couple further specifications about the machine to help guide your selection. Have a great day. Bye-bye.